히트 다 히트 히트 시즌 2 We are back, guys. Sorry about that. A little bit of a technical bump, but we're about to jump into the losers match. It's going to be a live versus trust, another PVT. Yeah, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of that zest influence in trust coming into this series against a live because they are on the same team, KT rolls though, and that build that zest used to wreck a live. It's a very flexible but solid build. Yeah, for sure, and I'm sure Trust is taking notes. This is our map list, King Sejong Station, Frozen Temple, and then Dusk Towers. You can see that it was Trust's first choice, so we actually do see that down there at the bottom of both players choosing King Sejong Station kind of at the top, so we see that first. You know, you can kind of get a sense of how this works out. Generally, the, the maps that, uh, you know, are more picked or more highly upvoted have a better chance of getting into the pool there of our three maps that we actually use. Yeah, and uh, coming to this series, I think this will be the closest series that we have today. These two players, sure, Elias may be a bit ab above in terms of skill to trust, but I feel like we're going to see some close games, more so than that winner's match. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's not going to be like the first couple of games that we no. saw. Um, Honestly, I feel like Dark vs. Zest is going to be the closest series. I think that Alive is definitely favored here. I think he just had a pretty weak series against Zest, and he didn't really show his true potential, his full potential. And Trust, I mean, he just got rolled too. So we didn't really get to see much out of either of these players, to be honest. So uh, just coming into this one, if I had to, to pick a player, I would say Alive if, if I didn't see any of the games that happened today. And even after seeing them, I'm like, yeah, I'm still feeling the Alive hype here. Yeah, well, Alive is the favorite, but I think this will go to three games. Definitely has the opportunity to get there. And you do see that trusty get rolled by Dark. Let's see if he can come back in this one. Yep, as uh, the game has not started yet. Just got some technical difficulties, it seems, within the game. Yep, and Alive really, really wants this trust. I mean, he, he's definitely a... Uh, he's been around for a while, but he's having some recent success over here getting into the round 16 of the SSL. Not an easy feat to get out of his group of the challenge uh, of SSL. Yeah, those groups are stacked. But uh, luckily for life, he did get out of the group. And Trust making it out with defeating SOS in that tiebreaker game. So he, he has a lot to live up for because taking out a fan favorite like SOS, you don't really want to be that guy who just bombs out <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gr uh, round of 16 group. Take out a fan favorite and then you bomb out of your group too. Uh, not the best way to go. And Alive, he, he got first in his group ahead of Vion, who was looking great in his matches yesterday in his group at the GSL. So the map is all loaded up. Let's jump into game number one of Alive vs. Trust. Here we are on King Sejong Station, one of the best maps we have in the pool. Down in the bottom right in the red, it is Alive from the Afrika Freaks. And spawning here at the top left, KT Protoss, the rookie of the team, it's Trust. And note the positioning of that first gateway. It's uh, designed there to stop that Reaper from coming into the base. We see in Terran vs Terran, a lot of those Terran players like to get those three supply depots to stop the Reaper. In this case here though, Trust is going for that block with that pylon and gateway. Yeah, and 
Kind of interesting, Alive went for the same build against Zest twice, where he got the early gas into to Rax, but now against Trust, uh, a weaker player, he decides to go for a more standard straight-up build, uh, probably just going to be a Reaper expand. Maybe he wants to make sure he can scout this map, because King Stadium Station has always been known as a fantastic proxy map. Yeah, and speaking of proxy, we do see a proxy coming here for Trust. The question is, what tech is he going to go for? Is he going to go for the Quick Dark Templars, or is he probably going to get the Stargate? And I think with the positioning of this proxy, it probably will be that Stargate. Yeah, it looks like it, and kind of interesting. He doesn't go for the Reaper, but he instead uh, uh, scouts here with an SCV. So he should be able to still get the information. Oh, robotics. Remind what? 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 Maybe quick. <laughs> you what, mate? What? <laughs> this is going to be pretty crazy. So, disruptors? I mean, what else is it going to be unless he's going <laughs> to hide... Proxicloxus. Hide immortals in the top right. He still has his probe over there to make the robotics bay. So yeah. it is looking a lot more just like proxy disruptors. And then if you could do me a favor and show me what Alive saw on the map with that SUV. Okay, so he did see everything. Oh, actually, he's going to go for a proxy of his own with the factory. Seeing that Trust doesn't really have much, he probably has a gut feeling that there's some sort of proxy counting pylons. Yeah, so. I mean, he goes in there, he sees there's not enough pylons, and he knows immediately. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm just going to counter that with my own kind of proxy. Oh, but oh! Trust completely sniffs it out. With this uh, stalker, <laughs> and uh, the whole crowd with the collective ah, and that was a womp womp yeah. moment there for life. He's actually rushing for the missile turret. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what this is. I mean, he, on, he on thought, a map he like thought it this, would be proxy oracle. But, yeah, uh, he's actually gonna go for that quick war prism and disruptor, and disruptor drops do so much damage when there's like no units out for your opponent because there's nothing to deal with them. All you can do is split basically. Yep. And oh, note that he's actually lift. He hasn't completed the missile tower yet because he's actually not sure what it's going to be. So once he wow. sees that it's not the Oracle, he can just cancel it. Really cool idea there. We don't usually see that. Usually they just get one for just safety. They're like, oh, I need this anyway. But uh, just saving that here. Liking the bunker as well, uh, just in case any kind of stalker pressure comes on. Generally, one stalker can forever kite a bunch of Marines. Yep. And that Stalker has uh, lost its shields, but still has a lot of health, so it's not going to get wrecked anytime soon if Trust is careful about it. And actually, Alive sneaks out a Marine. It's going to scout the expansion. It's going to see that there is a lack of gas and probes at the expansion. And here comes the Disruptor drop, but it looks like Alive is completely on it. Let's see if he can split well enough and hold this off. What does he go for in this starport? It is going to be the medevac. So not going to be a Viking to push off the War Prism just yet. But now he knows the War Prism is in, and here it comes. Oh, oh it doesn't actually split most of them, and he gets five kills there. Very nice play here from Trust. And the thing is, I thought we'd be seeing a Okay, there's a Cyclone, but Alive actually opted to go for the tank before the Cyclone. And... Uh, Maybe he's thinking of doing counter push with the tank, with the medivac. Just have to wait and see. Yeah, for now he's just going to try to hold this off. Tank is going to be nice just because it gets a, a little bit, you know, that poke the second the disruptor comes down. But oh, coming in! And oh, no yeah, split. The mules as well. That, that was so gigantic. He gets so six SCVs and the mules. That is huge for trust. He's doing so much economic damage with that one disruptor and war prism. And as I mentioned before, here comes the push with the tank and the marines. Yeah, on a map like this, it's always great to go for this kind of push because you can get those units behind the rocks, but it looks like Truss is on top of this. And honestly, that's that's not enough units. Oh no, but they're going to lose the War Prism! Okay, good. <laughs> if he lost that War Prism, that would be yeah. disastrous for Trust. Would have been crazy. Like, all, all he did with that initial War Prism for us just gone down the drain, but War Prism does stay alive, lives to fight another day. But he's scanned there on the Observer, too. I mean, at this point, he, he's only made... You know, out of the robotics, he had to make both the Warp Prism and the Disruptor. So you're not going to have a lot of Observers. So if you can find one, it's nice. Here we go once again! And no splits again! Six SCVs! Yeah, these splits have been pretty subpar, honestly, from Alive. Could be doing a much better job splitting with those SCVs, but... Yeah, I mean, take a look at his SCV count. He's up 25 workers. He's lost 19 of them. Yeah. 
There's a Cyclone though, he wants some of that action, wants to get it rid of that War Prism. There's also that Viking out for alive as well, so it's going to chase that War Prism around. And here comes a drop, where's the opponent home charges? Mothership Core was never made. Never made, wow. He just didn't have enough gas. I mean, he, he could have uh, substituted out a couple of these Stalkers for one, but uh, just decided not to. And he's getting that Blink as well, so... He's actually forced Alive to move back and regather his force. Here comes, what, round three, round four? Uh, gets uh, one... Oh, Liberator. Three. Sneaky, sneaky Liberator. It's going to do a few broken kills. Ooh, he Water. gets it. Yeah, it doesn't get away. But his Viking is chasing the Warp Prism. But the speed is out, so it's going to be able to zip across the map. Look at the quickly. angle that Alive takes, but he actually does not commit with that Viking. Yep. So. The Blink is up for Trusto, so he's got complete map control. And I think Alive just has to turtle off these two bases. Yeah, he really needs to. I mean, look at how late that stim is. Generally, if you don't have stim when you're facing this many Blink Stalkers, you're in a bad spot. One tank is not going to be enough against this many Stalkers. And not only Stalkers is the threat for Alive, but he also has to be wary of this War Prism with the Disruptor as well, and just blink forward onto the bunker. There's like no units here. There's just way too much stuff here for the Protoss. It looks like Dress is going to be able to take game number one. Really nice play really in this ni game. Yeah, really nice play, but really questionable uh, micro play from Alive. The, the splits, were, as I mentioned, were very subpar. Could have mitigated a lot of the losses that he had. GG. GG. Dress going to take game number one. And, I mean... <laughs> Bombers down at the studio supporting Alive. Alive is definitely the favorite when these two are going head to head. But to take a loss like that has got to feel pretty terrible. Yeah, that was a really nice build from Trust with the proxy. Completely fooled Alive off guard when he built that turret onto the mirror line. But I think the problem there from Alive was that when those disruptors came with the purification novas, he didn't actually split his SUVs or army completely. He took a lot of damage from those drops. Yeah, he was definitely struggling with his, his micro his splits there. You could see he was like trying to pull apart the different but he sides, didn't pull but enough. then he would pull like one yeah. side and then the rest of them would just stay there or they would pull, but then they would be bunched up and just, you know, like, get uh, all blown up. Do you guys have that string cheese that you can just pull? Yeah, yeah no, it, they have it, it here it felt too. Like that, it felt like that. Uh, Alive only did maybe two or three pulls, but he didn't do the full eight pulls to completely split the army and the SEVs. And as a result, Trust punished him for Alive's lack of micro. Yeah, and also Alive didn't really have any idea what kind of proxy it was until it got into his base. So he was all of a sudden, he just had to react right away. And yeah, getting it, that, it wasn't the cleanest reaction, right? Getting that siege tank first rather than cyclone is a bit... Uh, I'm yeah, not you really definitely sure. you want to get that cyclone out so you can push away the warp prism. So like, if you get the tank out first with the medivac, you got to do damage with it. And unfortunately for life, he didn't do enough damage. It almost looked like he had a specific plan for the map, 